Hello everyone, and welcome to another Maya tutorial. In this Maya tutorial, I'll be showing you how to insert a picture onto a plane, and specifically a plane. I will do another tutorial about how to add textures onto other objects later, but this one will be specifically to a plane, because it's easier, and I kind of, I use this a lot in like, for example, my speed modeling. So I just thought I should make a tutorial on it. So pretty much what we do is we go over to Polygon and Plane. And what I like to do is I like to make it the same size as the grid. So we do boop. And right there. And then I'll shade it in. And the next thing you want to do is you want to press on this checkered ball. And pretty much what this does, it will show the texture of the object. If you do not have this on, you will not see the photo. And as it looks like it's done nothing, but it has actually done something. Um, let's move this up a little bit so you don't see the grid. And next what you want to do is you want to right click and you want to assign new material. And I'm just going to do Lambert and it'll give me Lambert 2 because I made a completely separate Lambert. And I'm going to go over to colors Click on this little checkered box. Um, you can edit these settings if you like, but I'm not going to do it for this tutorial. I'll come back later and do it. But I'm going to click on this checkered box, and I'm going to go over to File. And then, as you can see, it's turned white. If I turn this off, this is how you'll see, this is how you'll know that this checkered box is not selected. Is that if it's on, it'll be white. If it's off, it'll be gray. So I'm going to leave it on. And then now I'm going to go over to image name and click on the file right next to it. And it'll open up into your default source images. I don't have any in there right this moment. I have them all on my desktop, which is really bad. Um, I should find something that, let's see here, which would be a good one. Uh, no, I could do that one. Uh, let's see here. Oh, I didn't select anything. Uh, let's do. I just realized I'm showing you guys stuff that hasn't even been made yet, so I don't know. Spoiler alert there. Uh, let's just do the slice cane, and it will show you the image right next to it. Um, so the reason why it's transparent and it doesn't have a white background is because it is a PNG file. And with PNG files, one thing you should note is that when you go over to Lambert, you cannot change many settings. I mean, there are still some things you could change, but it is not going to do the same changes as if the image was a JPEG. Now, the reason why you would want a transparent background with a PNG is that if you're going to do some sort of modeling. So, for example, for my speed modeling tutorials, all of the images are PNGs. And if they're not, I make them into PNGs and I make sure that the background is all gone. Um, there are some scenarios where I won't do it, and the reason why is that the object might be too complicated in some ways, and I'll just leave it there. It doesn't really make too big of a difference. And I mean, one of the benefits about having a JPEG here, let me actually change, let's go back to colors. Let me see if I can find a JPEG, a good JPEG, I should say, on... Yeah, this is a good one. So for example, this image, we go over, we click off, we click onto this, and as you, oh, no, wait. What the fuck? Time, sorry, my phone's going off. Um, it's actually an alert message, let me see this. I am so sorry about that, but it was an Amber Alert message. Thank you so much for interrupting my tutorial, Amber Alert, me Amber alert message. Um, so let's see what I was saying. Oh yeah, it doesn't change it. Hmm. I don't know. I know with some color, it might be with certain objects that it does it, but specifically not this one. Um, so yeah, that's how you texture a plane. Yeah, that's it. Okay. Um, if you found this tutorial helpful, and I do apologize about my phone, leave a like. Um... If you want to see some more, I was trying to think of a joke with like my phone, but I couldn't think of any. Um, if you want to see some more of my stuff, uh, 
subscribe or check out my channel. Um, and I'll see you in whatever else I make. Okay, goodbye.